Okay, Pasa YouTube, Six Foot Hacks here. How's it going, everybody? Half for y'all today, week 11 of the end of PA. I apologize for no team builder and this being post commentated for the first time ever, I think, in like years. I used a team that was not mine. I didn't make this team, uh, mainly for the fact that I just had a lot of stuff going on and been helping out Kyle prep for the P4G live stream this Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern being streamed on his channel so definitely come out to the stream guys really really excited for that but yeah just uh, had a lot on the plate so didn't make my own team here thanks to my front office and the homie that made this I think it was Aaron or the confusion I apologize but yeah this match was against old man tough guys don't check him out channel link and stuff will be down below next week though we will be back to uh, live commentated battles and me making my own teams again because I'm really not a big fan of like I love having a front office for like input and stuff but like I don't want to use a team that was built for me if you guys get what I mean like half of the fun for draft uh, format for me is building my own teams and like even if it gets nitpicked apart I still love input and stuff so yeah going into this game uh, the biggest threat I saw on Tup's team, actually the biggest threat in prep in general was Zygar. Like this matchup in general was really tough for us. I'll leave a pace bin of the team if anything if you guys want to check out the sets. Some actually very innovative sets that can uh, definitely put in a lot of work in this game here. So yeah, uh, I'm going to be leading off with Specs Pyroar though because Specs Pyroar legitimately just gets a free kill every single time. If that's not Spadef bulky... Uh, Aromatis or like Assault Vest Reuniclus or Assault Vested Empoleon, I can just click Fire Blast turn 1 since he didn't lead with Zygarde. And not even Zygarde is going to appreciate switching into a Choice Specs Fire Blast. As you can see here, not only is this a very Spadef bulky Empoleon, but that is going to be a 2 KO if I'm able to get the damage roll in my favor. I don't get it though, but I do get the burn. And if I remember the cop correctly, if it was max Spadef, max HP, I think it had about a 60-ish percent chance to 2 KO him there, so I guess the burn kind of made up there for me getting low rolled a little bit as I'm able to knock out the Empoleon. I'm not sure if he would have kept it around if I didn't burn him. Like I would have still clicked Fire Blast regardless and if he had the hard switch in the Zygarde getting off that damage would have been absolutely amazing actually. So if this is banded I pretty much have to choose something to sack. However though the way that this Mammoth Swine is ZV'd after Stealth Rocks I get knocked into Ayapapa Berry range and then I get brought back up to enough HP to put me out of range of where another Bandit a thousand arrows will knock me out But he actually ends up going for the dragon dance and this is amazing because not only can I live one arrows But I can then also icicle crash him and uh, Potentially knock him out if he's not running the yachi berry and if he is running the yachi berry Then the next turn I tank an e-speed and knock him out with ice shard except uh, I'm blind or my mom is blind see this is why I don't want to use other people's sets man it's, it's not my Samoa Joe this is not my Joe my Joe would have hit that icicle crash my Joe puts people to sleep man I would have that Zygarde would be buried in the ground right now but no I didn't make the team I didn't make this mammal slide and unfortunately I missed the icicle crash and then I popped his Yachi Berry with the ice shard there which kind of sucks because if I had been able to hit that icicle crash I still would have been able to keep my Mammal Swine around. If anything, I could have left it for like Death Water or maybe to kind of pivot into something to see what they may want to lock themselves into. And then I kind of shoot myself in the foot here and I legitimately misclicked on the Mega Gallade. I had no reason to bring in Mega Gallade here. I have a Scarfed Hydreigon in the back that I would have gladly clicked Draco Meteor with. But yeah, me being an idiot, I misclicked. But I'm able to chew the Outrage, thankfully, and I'm able to knock him out with the Ice Punch there. It does kind of suck though that I that I misclick on bringing in Mega Gallade here because Mega Gallade still could have put in some work. While I don't Oko, Reuniclus, or Aromatis, I still could have been able to do a lot of damage to them with X Scissor and Poison Jab respectively. As in comes Reuniclus, do a pretty solid chunk of damage to him with the X Scissor there. Find out that he is definitely physically defensive and this is really nice because even if he is running, as long as he's not running a lot of Spadef EVs, which he shouldn't be judging for how much damage the X Scissor did, I can bring in my Specs Pyroar and knock him out with the Flamethrower as long as I don't get a absolutely low damage roll and knowing my luck if I go for the fire blast I'll end up missing so I figured it's probably safer for me to go for flamethrower here but much like my game against chase I get low rolled on the flamethrower here and reuniclus not only lives but is well trained and hits a second focus blast in a row which if I'm not mistaken is only about a 49% chance to happen for you to hit two focus blasts back to back so I'm gonna do the math and let me know but that's what I've always heard it's like a 49% chance there so unfortunately I lose my Mammoth Swine due to a miss. 
lose my pyroar to a low roll and then I kind of cucked my Gallade because I misclicked on him. So I'm going to bring in a Hydreigon here. Just go for the U-turn at this point. He has no reason to save Reuniclus. I guess if it was like Regenerator maybe, but more than likely he was just going to be Magic Guard. So I U-turn out and I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Steelix. Unfortunately, it doesn't really matter what I bring in because at this point Zapdos can pretty much just body me. Like if I had been able to keep Pyro there, if I got the damage roll, I would have been able to nuke him with a Specs Flamethrower or a Fire Blast. And then at that point, uh, 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 Pyro just kind of came in and smacked his entire team around. But yeah, due to the low roll and the second Focus Blast hit there, once I lost my Pyro, there's honestly not really anything I can do at this point in the battle. Like, uh, I'm not going to be able to break through the combination of Zapdos and Aromatis. If I had Calm Mind Manaphy on this team as opposed to Tail Glow Manaphy, I might have been able to set up on the Aromatis, and if I got up to two Calm Minds, I might have actually been able to win with Manaphy, but at this point, it's just kind of me really not having a chance at this point so yeah a bit of an unfortunate loss for week 11 of the NPA but it's fine guys can't win them all and we are going to take a nice L this week hopefully we do bounce back next week though for week number 12 and as I said we will be back to live commentary I promise you guys since I don't have to worry about uh, draft or live stream stuff and all that shenanigans hopefully or extra live stream stuff and just yeah you get what i'm trying to say either way though hope you guys did enjoy the quick game here make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below definitely go check out tup and uh, i think we are currently eight and three if i'm not mistaken or seven and three i want to say so we're still in very good contendership to make it into playoffs i think overall we're like fourth or fifth at this point so we can still easily make playoffs as long as we don't take extremely big L's in the last two weeks of MPA we should be pretty much guaranteed playoffs so yeah with that being said guys love y'all hit the thumbs up button down below and I will see you all tomorrow on the P4G live stream because I definitely expect you guys to come out there share support for the Durham Dragons, find out what kind of fire we have drafted so yeah thank you all for watching guys later everybody no matter where you're at I'm not here to make friends it's time to attack and deplete your HP with a final smash don't make me turn around and pull a six foot hacks six foot six foot hacks hacks yeah six foot six foot hacks hacks yeah six foot six foot hacks hacks